Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mecca, and please watch the amazing, deep, and complicated introduction to Chapter 8x of my Farmum Thracia Iron Man playthrough. That's it, that's all the story you get beforehand. <laughs> this is the prep screen, but it's in Fog of War, and since during the prep screen your units are not deployed, there's no light or anything. It's literally just darkness all over the place, but we are inside Dakar's mansion. And for this map we're gonna bring Leaf, Orson, Safi, Lifis, Asphel, and Nana. You only have space for six. Uh, I decided to give Ronan a little rest after all that work he did last chapter, because if he kills a couple more dudes, he's gonna be fatigued for either nine or ten, I think, and I want to deploy him both, possibly. Not sure yet, but I want to keep my options open, and I don't really need him for this one, I don't think. But I do think I will need all these units, so I'm gonna deploy a maximum of six here. And I'm gonna bring a torch on leave to light the place up, I think. And I'm definitely gonna need asphalt for this one. So if you're playing along, you don't want to play this chapter without asphalt, pretty much ever. Uh, let's get right into it. I am scared, but I'll show you why. You know shit's about to go down when this music plays. Okay, <laughs> at least he's pretty straightforward about it. Another example of translation patches and what they can get away with. And another one, and another one. Nice comma, very well placed. I should stop being so sarcastic because I actually do enjoy this exchange, but uh, I've seen it plenty of times, so I end up just making <laughs> random remarks. Yeah, that's what he says. I'll take you all on, but it's kind of scary. <laughs> so, if this is all you see, you might be wondering, you know, what's the big deal? Um, I'll show you the big deal. I'll just show you. Also, because I want the information before I decide on where to put Dactar and Tanya. So you get Tanya and Dactar back, and they have to face all these people. And the last time I checked my save... <laughs> Things didn't look pretty. Let's check their stats. Uh, they all have iron axes, that's nothing different. And this guy has six movements. And this guy has six. 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 It's like Satan in here, or hell in here. Six. 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 Okay, so when I was messing around and uh, checking things, <laughs> both of these guys had seven movements, and that makes things pretty tricky. So Tanya and Dactar are backed into a corner. And if you've seen Don on 0% growth run, you'll know that Dactar like run right up to, uh, I think this place or this place doesn't really make a big difference. And that way he would shield Tanya from this guy because if you start travel straight, one, two, three, four, five, he can attack Tanya. But if Dactar is in the way, he has to travel around him. So one, two, three, four, five, six. He is short, so that's the way to keep Tanya safe. However. Um, that way is like it's the best for LTC, but it's not totally safe because Dactar can actually die. So I'm gonna take a look at their attack values. But you can see Dactar has um, 43 HP and 10 defense. I'm gonna need to do a bit of math for this one until I decide where to put them. So 43, 10. So this guy, for example, is 10, so that's like a five hit KO. I think that's the highest value they have probably. I had two with like um, 21 attack last time, or just one actually. Okay, there's another one with 20 attack, and okay, it's, it's okay. So this one has a lot of attack. Jeez. Okay, so the this one, this one, and I think this one. Yeah, they all have 20. But for example, this guy has 17, which means he'll only do seven, which um, doesn't do as much. Let's see, and he's facing facing like 50-50 hit rates. So um, let's see, what's the safest option here? Because basically you could say on average he's getting like 6 hit KO'd, right? So if he gets hit by 6 or more, he would die. Roughly. Because uh, 6 times 7 damage is like 42 HP. Hmm. I don't want to put him like here or here because then these hunters with poison bows can attack him. They do like 0 damage, but poison does damage, so... 
what is the safest option? So my options are either YOLO and just go like here to shield Tanya and just take all of them at once, maybe here, so that the ones on the far side cannot get to him and then he can kill the last one on player phase or something. That might be the best way to go about it. So then he faces one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. And if the strongest ones are doing 10, then you only have to dodge like two of them. Um, I'm tempted to do that. Really tempted. The other option is to go here or something. And then just keep spamming vulnerabilities. That's a pretty safe option actually. Because, um, you know, their highest they can go, I think, is like 22 attack. I'm sorry for thinking this long, but this is really crucial because I don't want Dakar to die. But I also don't want all these guys swarming Tanya for like turn after turn. Um, I think the best option is to go here. I think he can take like three. That's fine. And only three of them can... Well, not three, but like... Uh, this guy can't reach him, this guy can't reach him. So he only faces... Uh, five of them. So that's pretty safe. And if Tanya can take like one hit, she survives like 22 attack easily. Well, not 22, but 21, she can survive easily. So I think that's the route I'm gonna go with. And I am gonna place Nana so that she supports him. And I'm gonna put Orson. I kinda want him to support Tanya, but I also wanna get these guys out of the way. And like my other, only other combat unit is, um, you know, Asphel. Let's see. I think in hindsight it might have been nice to have Leaf here, but whatever. I think I'm gonna have Orson just advance and hurry up. I can heal him with Asphalt if needed. And it saves some Puji uses, because it's like at almost half of its uses. Oh, I guess that was kind of pointless. I'll try to hand axe, why not? Budget Puji. In fact, I could have just left this guy alive. I don't know how to be how conservative I should be with Asphalt. I think there's some maps I can leave him out of, so I don't have to worry too much about his fatigue. And I do have plenty of tomes. I brought Lifus because we've got a lot of chests, and also I have a chest key on Leaf. And I think I'm just gonna ignore the right side for now. All right, Tanya has a bow, so she shouldn't get captured. Let's uh, see what Dactar can do. It's really recommended to keep the Brave Axe on him, because it makes him so much more reliable. Yeah, see, 99 hit. He's not going to reach that with a Steel Axe, I can tell you that much. Uh, I think normally you wouldn't really have the... What's, his, what's her name? You wouldn't really have Nana in his range. Okay, looking good so far. Dodging one out of two. This guy's pretty strong. 20 is happy, yeah. Copy to him. Dagdar uh, basically has the, the Brave Flax as his personal weapon. Okay, I should be moderately safe from here. That wasn't as bad as I expected. I was so tempted to just, you know, do the Dondon Strat where Dagdar takes on all these guys in one enemy phase, but I couldn't bring myself to do it. The most important part of Dagdar's whole utility is really this chapter and the chapters before it, but I still don't want to risk losing him. Tanya is less important, but she does support Orson and T Dactar himself, so... Uh, hmm. This might not have been the brightest idea to you to try a budget Puji. Oh well. Okay, now uh, sure you can hit things, thank you. Very good. She has the SETI scroll, <laughs> so it's kind of funny that she just got speed and nothing else. Okay, I'm hoping he kills this guy at least. I don't want to feed all these kills to Dagdar, I want to promote Orson. Kill him. Nice. Double crit with the hand axe. Who needs Fuji? You know who could have gotten a kill here? Ronan. Ronan can always get a kill, though. Kill 
Okay, so now that the way is clear. The rest of the chapter isn't too complex. Let's see. Do I even need to heal Dagdar? I guess I do. I'll physic him, because I plan to use some physics anyway to raise Safi. There's no enemies in the chest room, so that's pretty safe. Miss, please. <laughs> Miss would be funny. And it saves me uses. Okay, as I said before, Safi needs to reach uh, a staff somehow. I'm thinking I'll do it by promoting her. It's not total cheese, but just a little bit. Wow, you're very good at this leaf. I thought I gave you like the speed ring. What is wrong with you? How much speed does this guy have? Five? Huh? Oh, I was using the iron blade. My B, my B. Uh, these guys don't move, whatever. Okay, well, they're all fine. In fact, I can get a kill with the, uh, the short bow here. <laughs> yeah. Save some Brave Axe uses, save some headaches. <laughs> Did not expect to get a crit here, but not gonna complain. I can even capture bait with Tanya here if I want to, but then I'd lose one item. <laughs> so I won't. I'll just equip the uh, Iron Axe. It's only one guy that's gonna attack him anyway. Uh, I'll leave Nana here, of course. It's gonna hurt. Or not. This might just be the last bit of EXP Tanya gets this playthrough. Man, I didn't realize that guy had this much hit with Nana in range. That's so nice. Well, we got off pretty good there. Hello. Did I equip the Iron Axe? Nope. Unfortunate. I think this map has like the highest enemy density in the game. Really wouldn't be surprised. This is out of range of that, I think, but it's fine. Love the crap walk. <laughs> Only Intellius is the crap walk. So there's a bunch more brigands up north, but I'm not going to kill them with Dagdar. I'm trying to get Ors closer to promotion. Let's get every heal that we can. Safi has the Hazel Scroll, so hopefully she'll get some HP level ups to combat fatigue. Or you can start by just hitting things, that would also be nice. Uh, do I risk death? Yes. Yeah, I risk death in this position, so it's time to duck Avon Murray. No big deal. I've had worse losses. I plan to get someone poisoned by these uh, hunters that you can see up north. They have poison bows. Come on, Orson. I mean, we're not in a hurry anymore, but it sure would be nice to, you know, speed this up for the viewers. They'd like to see what's going to happen next, you know? Maybe he's just trying to give Saki heal opportunities. I wouldn't know. Yeah, I'm scared of what's to come, so I'm not going to move Safi ahead. I want these kills to go to Orson. I want to promote him next, I think. Did I mention I want to promote Orson? I think I might have. Oh, hello. I didn't know there were guys moving from the start. Um, is this a problem? 
sort of. If there's more than just one, then it's a problem. If it's just this guy, I am not worried. Not a shortbow crit. Does the shortbow have extra crit in this game? I think this is probably the best time to check. No, it doesn't. Dakar just decided to crit out of nowhere. Alright then. I'm gonna give him a hand axe. I'm gonna give him an axe. This is a pretty safe tile. Everything here can get poisoned, so I don't want to deal with the poison animation 50,000 times, so I'm not going to move people there yet. Nice job. I was actually hoping he'd leave one of them alive at least. Come on. Nope. Guess it's back to Pucci for him. This ain't working. Oh nice, X level up. You know, every time I see that pop up, I think I'm getting a, a movement thing. Let's see. 12 attack, 11 attack. Yeah, so Safi can actually survive these guys and get some free XP that way. I reckon that's what we're gonna go for. Well, you, you tried. Safi, you tried. I'm being conservative with the Puji because I'm really not sure how I'm gonna dedicate my hammer and uses. I'm not sure how many warps I'm gonna have, etc. Okay, I think I'm gonna bait the other one with Asphalt or just kill him. That's probably better. Just get rid, of, get rid of one of these guys, excuse me. I just ate. Okay, you should attack Safi because like, everyone else is going to range. Uh, look up the Iron Sword because there's like a bunch of ranged dudes here, yeah. Let this guy move back a little so that Nana can be able to some support. Yeah, so whatever. Where the hell is that guy going? Well, that's one way to get a XP, I guess. Just get attacked by hunters repeatedly. And not just for Safi. I'm getting myself to a point. By not equipping the right weapons, but it's more like it's just making things slower than that, it, that it's really hurting me in any way. Yeah, that's the stuff. I remember when Dundon did that, he got like an entire level off of that because he gave Safi both Paragon and it was Paragon mode. I think it's Bougie time. Can you double? No. Nope. Can you double this way? Yeah, I can. So if he gets adapted, this guy dies. Or you can just miss. Always an option. Okay, so now the guy should stay where he is, the other hunter. And then next I can put horse in here and kill a bunch of stuff. Safi healing someone, take 35. Success. We did it, Reddit. Strength! Well, Safi has like a 30% strength growth, and I gave her the Hazel Scroll, so not too surprising. What is that brigand doing? Oh, yeah. No, wait, that's fine. I was calculating. I was wondering. Yeah. I was expecting that, but I forgot about it. 
Good excuse. Oh, that's a very nice level up, actually. Strength. Skill, I think, and build. I already forgot. I have a bad memory for level ups. It doesn't help that this game doesn't show level ups forever. Like someone said in the comments. Alright, Orson. Do your worst. I think this is when Dondon also promoted Orson. I'll heal Leaf. Whatever. Don't need Safi to get every bit of the XP ever. Hurry up. Oh right, someone told me how to fix that. Let's see. There we go. And now... I think I can change animations? Yeah, good. That was the button I was looking for forever, dude. It's even labeled as anime. Look at that hit rate. Hand axe sucks in this game. This is a real axe. Now we're gonna see some mad kills. If there's people remaining, that is. And that isn't just inaccurate, it's also just so weak in this game. Like you can see that Orson was barely killing people with it with the crit. And Orson isn't exactly weak sauce. Outside of personal weapons, I'd say 1-2 range, good 1-2 range is really rare in this game. It's like Asphel who has a personal weapon, and Orson. Who else really has good 1-2 range? I guess Nana, kind of. Um, some of the later sages you get, like uh, Homer, Loan, Sarah. What else has one good 1-2 range? I guess uh, Xavier with the Master Axe, kind of okay. Okay, I think that's probably all of them. Um, so I think I'll put... I'm not gonna turtle for like forever. I'm gonna keep it moving. Doesn't seem to be too much out here. Where's it's like, yeah, 18. Yeah, that does kill Safi actually. I'm too scared to move Safi here yet. But if nothing attacks Nana, I will move her there. Okay, this should be off, I guess. Test, one, two, three, yep. Hello there. <laughs> I haven't seen that crit since FE4. Leaf doesn't crit too much in this game. Yep, I thought there might be some dudes. I should remember to turn Nana's animations off too, because even if it's not a healing animation, it's still long as shit. Um, why are you attacking Leaf? Do you like Safi? Safi has like lower defense. I guess they're like targeting lords. I don't know. Anime. No more anime. Alright. HP and build. I don't really need this much build, dude. In fact, I don't really want to have 20 builds, because then no one can rescue him. Mm -hmm. I 
Slow and steady. Wins the race. Oh, very nice. Build is good for Nana. Build and speed, in fact. This just gave her plus two AS with your sword. Pretty happy with that. It's kind of like how in uh, FE9 you want Boyd to get uh, strength early on so that he stops being weighed down by the, uh, you know, by every axe ever, including the Iron Axe. Wow, one hit rate. That's a new low, even for Thracia. It's probably the lowest it's ever gonna hit. Dude, I thought I got rid of all these dudes. I guess I'm gonna put Orson there then. Nice! And I was like, I want to have Wrath, but if you're not gonna give it to me, I'm just gonna pretend I have it. Okay, uh, missing would be sort of bad, but in that case, the space is clear. It's not clear, so... Oh, she doubles now? Sick. I guess that guy was just kind of slow. This gives so much more XP to Nana than his healing. And this guy's back to harassing Safi. And he did a good job of it. Well played. Now I need to heal her like every so and every now and then. 